You know, it's not just insisting that my Megan pick up dog mess, you know. We've had loads of issues with our neighbours over in Montecito, you know. They're intolerable. I mean, one of them approached me the other day when I was on my bicycle to complain about Megan's behaviour and attitude. You know, I let them have it. Oh, I can tell you. Don't you worry about that. I said, don't you ever, ever talk to me about my wife again. How dare you? Gave him a real mean look and just suckled away. Do you think that's a uh, healthy, mature way to deal with things of this nature? I don't know what you mean, Godfather. Do you not think maybe you should uh, remain calm? Stop being so uh, emotional. It makes you look uh, weak. Well, I've got to protect my wife. It's very unlikely that she sees you as her protector. Men who cannot retain composure during uh, difficult situations are very rarely looked on as protectors and more likely to be seen as uh, pitiful beta males and more likely to be taken advantage of. Well, my Megan must be an angel sent from heaven then because she's never once, not even once, taken advantage of me. Look, all she ever wanted was a little bit of security around the estate, you know, a patrol, to keep her safe. She's really under the cosh, you know, she's a prime target for misogynistic and racist abuse. So she needs a neighbourhood patrol so she can feel safe. I don't see the problem here. Have you come to ask if I can uh, supply security to protect you from these threats? Oh, no, no, not at all, Godfather. You know, I'd never waste your valuable time for such a pitiful favour. Besides, we've already got a solution. We want everyone in the neighbourhood to club together to pay for it. So why do you need me? Yeah, but they've refused, you know? Can you believe that? Yeah, refused to help, you know? And now they're being rude to her. And they've started talking to her like she's, you know, little more than common trash. So what is it exactly that you want from me? Look, two things. First of all, make sure that our neighbours pay their fair share towards the security costs and the, the neighbourhood patrols so my Megan can feel safe, okay? And second of all, make sure that they stop being nasty and mean and rude and vicious to my Megan. You know, she has suffered enough verbal abuse already. So tell me, do your neighbours want this uh, security patrol? As well. Have they uh, ever had one before? No, they say they've never had one before and they don't want one now. But, duh, they've never had such an important resident like my Megan who needs protecting before. So tell me about this uh, verbal abuse that she's subjected to. Do they shout insults from the windows when she's walking by? Or do they approach her when she's minding her own business and hound her? In a uh, vitriolic way. Oh, no, no. No one says a thing to us when we're out and about. You know, not anymore. No, they're vicious to my Megan when she knocks on their door any time, night or day, to demand things like they pay their fair share of a neighbourhood patrol that they don't want. That's when they're rude to her. So she's only ever verbally abused when she uh, goes to people's private properties and uh, knocks on their front doors and demands that they pay for services they don't want nor require that's right so can you help i find verbal abuse an ugly phenomenon i have been known to uh, interject and bring about a cessation of uh, similar ongoing situations but uh, what you ask i cannot do oh. it sounds like she is the bully She's uh, flying high on an ego that she will one day realize has no wings. But she's not there yet. So to provide oxygen for her uh, delusion, she uh, treats and speaks to people uh, unreasonably. Yeah, yeah, but... It's not the time for speaking, Harry. It's the time to listen. She's not a uh, victim in the traditional sense. She's a perpetrator without any uh, semblance of self-awareness, meaning she's unable to view herself in a uh, 
realistic light, and therefore unable to value herself in a realistic sense. She is uh, flying too close to the sun, like Icarus, but it is your wings, Harry, that are melting fast. Pick up your own uh, darkness, pay for your own security, and people will stop treating you with such uh, disgust. You have a uh, minimal talent, but uh, a lot of privilege. Humility should be your uh, default setting. Be humble, despite your uh, token celebrity. You will earn people's respect. Oh, well, I mentioned this to Megan, but I'm not sure she'll agree. I don't hold out much hope either, but uh, I'm a busy man. And uh, you have my answer, so uh, I'm going to have to say good day. Oh, no, 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 of course, of course. You know, I've got your godfather. Anyway, thanks for seeing me. Missing you already. Well, Clemenza, tell Boris Johnson I'll be a little bit longer. I need a, uh, a detox first. There's a lot of dangerous people in this world. Dangerous people.